An electric ride could really be any sort of electronic transporter, but really I'm focused on light electric vehicles. Those are things like segways or electronic skateboards or things like this. This is an electric uh, kick scooter. You can see there's a, a little motor in this rear wheel here. This thing gets 10 plus miles per charge, goes up to 20 miles per hour, and it, it folds really compactly so you could take it on a subway or a bus. You could even take this on a plane because the battery size is less than 300 watt hours. Uh, these products, in my opinion, uh, offer something really unique. They basically flatten that last mile on your way to or from the bus station. They get you around the neighborhood for fun, get you out and kind of social. And for someone like me, I have a little bit of a hurt knee. They can help me go further than if I was just trying to use a traditional bicycle. Or maybe I don't have to pedal at all uh, for some of these, these bikes and scooters and things. So I, I do want to call out that something like this kick scooter, this is legal uh, around the neighborhood. You don't have to have a license. You don't have to have insurance. But on this channel, I'm also going to review things that, that do require a license and insurance. They're really more like... Um, like a moped or like a, a motorcycle, an electric motorcycle like the Zero. So it's important to check out, you know, with each review I'll try to clarify the guidelines for that bike, but they do vary state by state in the United States. And really, I'm just here trying to give you uh, a transparent view and, and a quantitative view of what these products offer. And uh, back at the site I'll have the full write-up, I'll have pictures and uh, comments. So you can, you can add your voice to this or you could even request uh, light electric vehicles. So welcome to electricridereview.com and ride safe.